Hi, I'm Gary Millard. I'm sitting in the middle of the Schuster Performing Arts Center in Dayton, Ohio. I'm a civil engineer, and this is one of the projects that I helped construct. There are a couple of different ways that a civil engineer um, would be involved in a project such as this. Um, a civil engineer may be a structural engineer who will really determine the design of the building. How do we hold everything up? There's a lot of weight, obviously, in the, in the building itself and determining how everything can be supported. They would work on a daily basis of designing the different aspects of the project from the foundations all the way up through the tower. And they would also work uh, during the construction phase to ensure that that building is being uh, constructed in conformance with uh, what, they, what their requirements are. On the construction side, a civil engineer uh, would work on a daily basis uh, out on site, uh, procuring materials, coordinating subcontractors, ensuring that everything is done on a, on a correct basis. Everything's being installed correctly, everything's being installed with quality, and everything's being installed in a timely manner to make sure that the project comes together. Civil engineers can be involved with a variety of projects. Civil engineers get involved with construction of dams, of roads, of bridges, of buildings, and of large environmental projects. In civil engineering, you can go from being a geotechnical engineer who deals with soils and how those things um, can be constructed into dams or to support buildings. It can be an environmental engineer who deals with environmental concerns from contaminated sites to design environmentally um, of different projects. Um, it can also go to the construction side of the project uh, to where you're actually getting in and building the bridge, building the building, figuring out how the pieces are going to come together in a sequence and making that happen. The designer of the Schuster Center was Cesar Pelli, who is a world-renowned architect, has designed the tallest uh, buildings in the world in Malaysia. I find that being an engineer and working with an architect is beneficial because they bring the uh, creative side and the ideas to the table and we are the practical side of it to be able to take those ideas and really make them uh, in concrete and mortar and make them become reality. In engineering we not only have to think about how to build the building but we also have to think about how the spaces are going to be used. Are they going to be multi-purpose spaces? Can we use those for a variety of things? How are you going to maintain the space or a lot of things that go in to the design of a building other than just how we're going to build the thing? One of the examples is the Winter Garden. The Winter Garden is a space that was intended to be a large public space and really to be connected to uh, the city outside. So we've got a large uh, glass enclosed space. My interest in civil engineering started at, a, at an early age uh, and really with kind of a little bit of an, an odd story. I didn't have anyone in my family that uh, was involved in construction and kind of pulled me in that direction. really starts from uh, a neighbor having a pool put in their backyard and a large pile of dirt in the backyard put in there and we jumped on that, my friends and I, with all of our trucks and everything else and just thought that was the greatest thing in the world, building little cities back on the what we called the mountain, building little cities, making roads and that's really my early experience. I think when I was in high school, I, I looked at engineering as more of a design concept, as designing buildings and figuring out how they were going to be supported, um, and really was interested in the geometry and the trigonometry ends, which helped with the, you know, the math background. Um, as I have gone into my career um, and became, or went into college and started the co-oping process, I really became interested more in putting everything together. So in high school I kind of expected myself to be doing more of a design and to whereas in reality I, I determined that I really like the assembly and the building portion of it. I think for me in, in high school the class that really kind of got me excited about things and I didn't know why at the time but I was pretty good at it was really my trigonometry class. And trigonometry when you get into the engineering fields you use every day. Physics I think gave me a base knowledge of, of what to expect from materials. We have to have a lot of knowledge of how things are going to react when they're put in certain situations. You know, what happens when um, you overload something, if something would be overloaded and you've got a concrete wall and you're trying to figure that out. Physics helped give the basic knowledge for looking at things and trying to figure out why things are happening.
some of the things from high school that we really use on a regular basis um, obviously are the math the math related issues of uh, trigonometry and really algebra and figuring out uh, things from a math perspective the science classes were also very important uh, to us giving you a, the ideas of how do you investigate things how do you look at things because we do a lot of that on our daily basis trying to have a process to go and figure things out and really the basis of those processes were established back um, in high school of how we went about different reports and doing a science report it all comes back as you get into uh, into your engineering career that you follow those same steps for instance one of the most exciting design features of the facility is the monumental stair the most interesting parts about this is the fact that there's probably space for about 300 people to stand on the stair and really when the theater is exiting there's going to be those 300 people on the stair um, that load translates into about 60,000 pounds that has to come down and it's supported only in one spot in addition the stairs are stone stairs and the steel itself um, weighs significantly so there was a lot of weight coming down on one point um, that had to be supported. And to engineer a stair like this, there are several pieces that have to go together. And all of those things had to be coordinated, and the geometries had to work together to make everything fit. Obviously, I think one of the things that makes you successful and that you can prepare for at this point in time in high school is your basic uh, math skills and those kinds of things. But other things are as important as having the analytical um, knowledge base um, and those things are working with people we work with people every day people that are successful find ways to work with other people and to get everybody working in one direction the other thing that you have to do is you've got to be creative you've got to look at a situation figure a way out how to solve the particular challenge that you have at that point in time those things are the intrinsic things I think that make you successful in an engineering career The greatest thing for me about building buildings is you can come back, you can see the building and know that that's there because of your efforts and because of the efforts of other people. It's a really neat thing to be able to see a building and know that you've done that and be able to drive your family past it and show everybody that, hey, that part of, part of me is there. That's really the thing that got, gets you excited about construction. Uh, one of the things that we saw in construction was the star field in the theater ceiling. And the Starfield's a really unique thing that, that Pelly had come up with. One of the challenges with the theater ceiling was is that we had to construct a large uh, scaffold system. And once we were completed with the ceiling, we had to take that scaffold system down to install the seats and build the lower part of the theater ceiling. I think in engineering, one of the challenges is not just figuring out what you have to do, but scheduling that and getting it together. In this building, we had hundreds of thousands of different pieces of materials and equipment that had to come in on a timely basis to make sure it could be installed when it had to be installed and that it wouldn't hold other things up. We had about 350 guys working here and they needed to have materials to be able to install every day so we could be, it could be done economically. Scheduling that stuff together to make sure that it happens in a timely manner is really one of the biggest challenges that we face in construction. I think one of the things that excites me about engineering is the, sen the sense of accomplishment, of being able to accomplish different activities and different milestones during the construction of a project, and when you're done, you've got a monument to where you were, that you were there. I think the great thing about building the Schuster Center is a sense of pride that we all got in, in being able to accomplish this building because it's such a special building. We won national awards uh, for the construction of this building. The design of the building won national awards. It's a great facility and we've got a camaraderie with the, amongst the guys that really built this thing that stand back and say, look at what we were able to accomplish. That's a great thing and it really makes us uh, feel really good going out in the future. As a matter of fact, the first event that was held in the theater was held for all the construction uh, workers. We all came in, had a great hard hat concert, and were able to enjoy it as the first people through the new facility. Civil engineering, we get to affect all parts of the city. A city is really made up of places where people have to live, to work, and to play, and to learn. And we're able to impact uh, that city with every one of those, building schools, building the roads and bridges to, to get around, building stadiums so people can enjoy those events, building an art center so people can enjoy the arts. We get involved in all of those, and we really help create the fabric of the city.